What is up, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about this upcoming UFC slate. So, this does start in about four hours, so I just kind of wanted to do only my core three. Basically, not go over every single fight because I didn't have time because the birthday was yesterday, which, I, like I said, I just didn't have time to do a breakdown video with one of my friends, which we're looking to do that next week. So, stay tuned for that. But, like I said, I just want to go, go ahead and just go over my core three. For this UFC Vegas 19. Like I said, sorry I couldn't do the full breakdown, but the full breakdown is on Patreon, which the description, which the link will be in the description below. So definitely check that out. Before we begin though, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's me as, as a ton, as y'all know. Now let's dig into the core three, basically. So what we're gonna do, core three, start with this first fight. Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades versus Derek Lewis. So I'm all over Curtis Blades. This is the main event. Blades is going to go for the wrestling approach, which he should be able to do easily. I don't like that Derek Lewis is already trying to talk about another fight, trying to talk about basically fighting Alistair Overeem, which I don't like that approach. I think that's definitely just not – I don't like it. It just makes it look like he doesn't even care about this fight. So I think Curtis Blades is going to go out there, basically just whip him up. Take him down. It's going to be takedown season. I love the price tag. I know it's a little high, but I love that price tag because people are not going to go to Curtis Blades. They're not going to pay that. They'd rather go to Derek Lewis way down below. I'm all on Curtis Blades. Like I said, he's going to go for the takedown. Lewis has awful takedown defense. There's no way he can be able to pre prevent this tonight. Give me Curtis Blades in the main event. I love the price tag. He's definitely a core pick of mine. Going over to another core pick of mine is... In this fight right here, which is going to be Alexia Luna versus Chris Dawkins, the old veteran versus the young buck. I'm on Chris Dawkins. I'm taking the young buck. As long as Dawkins gets out of the first round to prevent basically the takedown and prevent the submission attempts from Alexia Olenek, because you know Olenek is basically a takedown machine who is easily going to get that sub if he gets you on the ground. There's no way around it. If Chris Dawkins gets to the ground, Alexi Olenek is going to sub him. But I think Dawkins is smarter than that. I think Dawkins is going to keep this fight on the feet. And I think he's going to go for the knockout approach, which I, I certainly think he can get. I'm all in on Chris Dawkins. I think this is a young prospect in his prime. He's going to look good. He's ready for this fight. Give me all of Chris Dawkins easily in this fight. Last but not least, Eddie Wineland versus Castanada. I'm on Eddie Wineland. The reason why I like Wineland is he's the more veteran guy. If we look at this, Castellano has not fought at all, barely anybody. What I mean by that is he's fought nobodies. He's fought guys with low resumes, not really high UFC caliber sort of guys. I think Wineland's going to basically teach him how the UFC goes. I think Wineland gets this fight on the feet. I think he knocks him out. I'm all in on Eddie Wineland, especially the price tag, which we need value now. With Sabatini in the Alias fight getting scrapped. So I'm all in on Eddie Wineland. Basically, give me the vet in this fight. And I love this core three of mine. Core three for tonight for USC Vegas 19. Like I said, stay tuned for next week for my full on breakdown. Sorry I couldn't get it out to y'all, but this is my core three for USC Vegas 19. Have a great and safe rest of your day. Have a good one, everybody.